Okay, let's go inside our small card shop. This is located at my car wash. Okay, Pampanga. now inside the shop this used to be a stock room of my car parts and uh, now I just uh, somehow renovated it to make it look like a hobby shop on my back that is where I do my live streaming on, on my Facebook page and this is uh, the card stand okay that is a uh, display cabinet. So let's check what's in store for us, alright? This is uh, the card shop display cabinet. Let's talk about first how this was set up. This, just, this used to be a, a, an, an ordinary uh, cabinet or display cabinet. So what I did is I did a DIY project, a simple solution and a budget-friendly solution for us to be able to get a good lighting and uh, make the cards outstanding at least in my opinion all right so it has four spaces divided into four tiers on top of course is my favorite player I'm a 90s kid. I grew up in the 90s trying to be like Mike. Alright, this is a Michael Jordan uh, 1990 NBA Hoops card. It's a base card. So I have uh, five raw cards on display. One graded card from PSA. Uh, not quite uh, a good uh, grade. That's a near mid 7. And I also have an 8x11 card at the back from NBA Hoops as well. Same image used. As you can see, I also have a vintage or a classic Michael Jordan cologne. And this is uh, I'm a Honda fanboy. I also have the CRX SI. On the second level, let's take a look what's inside. This cabinet, some Michael Jordans. Uh, I also have uh, an NBA Hoops tribute of Kobe, Shaq. That is an, an upper deck card from Michael Jordan. A Space Jam card for Michael Jordan. And this is a 1990 perforated card uncut of the San Antonio Spurs. You have that rookie card of Sean Elliott and David Robinson. The rookie of the year card. On our right, this is the classic 1990, one of the most beautiful cards manufactured in the 90s. This is the Fleer Metal Set, a metal universe at that, of Penny Hardaway and Michael Jordan. One of my favorite Jordan shoes is the Jordan 8. It's very comfortable. Uh, it's, it's safe to, uh, to, uh, to wear during games. Because aside from the laces, it also has that X strapped on top of the laces. This is a gold foil NBA or USA Dream Team 1992 card. It has a gold foil on the edge of the on the left. This is a Johnny Kilroy 1994 upper deck card. Johnny Kilroy, also known as Michael Jordan. On this specific card, it shows us Johnny Kilroy dunking on Alonzo Mourning. So this is just a fictional character. The only fictional character that was manufactured uh, by Upper Deck with the uh, approval of NBA. Alright, this is a Michael Jordan card. 
disguised as Johnny Kilroy. You can check in Google or YouTube what's with the hype on this particular card. On this side, we have a Mark Jackson 1990 Series 1 card. And as you can see, there was a cameo appearance of the two brothers, the Menendez brothers. There, those two guys are the Menendez brothers. You can also check out um, the story or the backstory of why this Mark Jackson card is now banned from selling on eBay. And of course, my current favorite player, Luka Doncic. We have a rookie card over there from Luminance. We have a rookie Kings, a green mosaic, same uniform colorway, Larry Bird and Magic Johnson, an RPA of Kevin Porter Jr. on card auto, a base, Luka Doncic, mosaic. So that is the parallel. This is the base. There you go. You also have Cameron Johnson, uh, one of uh, my favorite players currently. That is an encased auto on card numbered as well. And this is an RPA of Nikhil Alexander Walker, numbered 11 out of 25. And you can see it's patch. On card auto, rookie card, 8.5 BGS, and a 9 auto. We have a Bob Love auto. We also have a Pulsar parallel of Kelvin Johnson, rookie card. A Jason Tatum rookie card from Revolution. One of my favorite players back in the 90s, my childhood hero. That is a Border Refractor from Topps, Mr. Finest of Damon Stoudemire. We also have, of course, a rookie card, Elite of Luca. And these are the, just the base card, say from this rookie card of Luca. Let's take a look at the base from the 2020 NBA Hoops. So this is the base. We also have the Winter Parallel. We have the yellow parallel from the Gravity Tree or Dollar Tree of NB Hoops. We also have here a blue parallel. It's blue on blue. And we also have a purple explosion base of Luca. We are still trying to uh, complete the entire parallel set. So our goal is for, uh, for at least a year will be able to complete this set so same set trying to complete for Trey Young we have, we have a yellow we have a blue we have a winter and we have a base that is the second tier of our display cabinet let's take a look what on the third tier let's open this one okay this is a collaboration project of Fleer and uh, Humvee so as you can see these are cards on top and we have a Humvee displayed inside the plastic covering okay I don't know look at that this is a 2004 card of Carmelo Anthony we're still waiting for the LeBron James sophomore card. You have Yao Ming. You have Dirk Nowitzki and Shaquille O'Neal. And on this display as well, you can see the three greatest players of all time. We have LeBron, we have Kobe, and of course we have Michael Jordan. This is a vintage pack that I opened and uh, luckily when I bought this, I pulled an error card of Michael Jordan. So this was it, a 1990 Fleer error card of Michael Jordan. You can check out 
uh, the reason why it's called an error card on this particular set. We have a Metal Shredders. We also have a Sam Vincent 1990 card. This is where Michael Jordan's jersey was stolen uh, before the game in Orlando. So what happened is his jersey number here is number 12 because they can find his jersey, his original number 23 jersey. So they just have to uh, make him wear a replacement on a different number, number 12. This is the first card that was ever produced captured Michael Jordan in a different jersey number. The rest are all somehow a newer newer uh, cards. That is Patrick Williams. Patrick Williams of Chicago Bulls. His uh, yellow laser, the mellow ball. And this is a CD card power deck under upper deck of Allen Iverson. We have an Allen Iverson rookie exclusives, Ray Allen rookie exclusives, and of course, rookie exclusives of Kobe Bryant. So on top, we have one, two, three, four, four rookie cards of Kobe Bryant. This is a Hardwood Prospects, and of course, the flagship rookie card of Kobe Bryant, or Kobe Bin Bryant. A tops base flagship card or rookie card of Kobe Bryant, the Black Mamba, which we actually missed him so dearly. We have Dennis Rodman, a Skybox Premium. We have a Michael Jordan Skybox Premium and the championship uh, photo card of the Chicago Bulls. And I also forgot to mention this earlier. My apologies. This is Dennis Rodman's 1988. Card. This is the first card produced for Dennis Rodman in an 8.5 BGS grade. And this is actually considered by most collectors as the rookie card of Dennis Rodman. Okay, Let's take a look. The last year. We have a book of Kobe Bryant, the story of the NBA's rising young star, Kobe Bryant. And those are just custom cards, and that is a reprint. And I'm not actually a fan, or uh, we don't really recommend you buying those um, or supporting those kind of uh, stuff. Okay, those are just gifts for, for my friends. <laughs> Galing lang sa mga kaibigan ko. We have a God from Sham God rookie card. You know uh, who it is. He is the famous, he's actually famous for the Sham God, the Sham God uh, crossover. And we have here Dennis Rodman's Pistons card, Spurs art card. We have a Dennis Rodman Bulls, Spurs, Dallas, and this particular lovely card when he played briefly for the Lakers it, it's a numbered card and it's hollow on the right this is an acetate in front and at the back and I believe in the middle it is made of paper the trio cards we have MJ Dennis Rodman Scotty Pippen we have MJ Dennis Rodman and Scotty Pippen so that is what is in store for you guys Today is August 20. Parts inside our cabinet. On our left, we thought of this project. It's a pet project of the guild with the help of our uh, local card community members. We are based here in Bampanga, thus the hashtag Kabalin Card Collectors and make happiness come. So, what's this for? No. This space is intended for our cards that you want to trade. So, what will happen is whenever you visit this, uh, this shop, you can actually 
drop some of your cards and get the same amount of cards that you just dropped. So meaning, the uh, trading, no, an easy trading uh, method. You just drop the cards and then grab any card that you want from that stack of cards, right? These are all these are all coming from different collectors. I also actually started this campaign for us to better um, tell people that trading is not dead right if you want to promote trading in our local community thus this project came out so we have more than 300 cards over here or I think it's more than 300 actually so these are the cards that you might want to check out when whenever you you visit the shop or whenever you, you're in the vicinity or on the vicinity of uh, of SM Calabastagan you can just check out this entire lot of cards drop your cards get the same amount of cards that you had just dropped and that is Community Card Pantry I believe this is the first Community Card Pantry in the Philippines and shout out to the, all the Kapalen card collectors who has been supportive of this pet project we have a complete set of 1990 slam cards 10 cards in total Damon, Rodman, Peyton, Shaq, Zoe, Barkley, Coleman, Mike Finley, Stephen Marbury, and Reggie Miller. And this album, Saman, or 1990s, we have a complete set of 1992 NBA hoops. They are arranged chronologically. 1992 Figure Ultra. Complete set as well. From Atlanta, Charlotte, and then that's the Chicago Bulls. It's Michael Jordan. The Boston. The rest of the gang. 1993 NBA Hoops. Same thing. Atlanta, Boston numbered chronologically or arranged by numbered this is a 1992 skybox same thing uh, 1992 upper deck set same thing rookies they're also numbered This one we have a top stadium or TSC album. Same thing. Fit set numbered. You can see 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Complete set as well. Alright, those are the classic or vintage cards. Not so vintage. But those are 90 sets. This is my personal collection of Damon Todemeyer. As I mentioned earlier, he was my childhood hero collected these cards when you were growing up in the 90s eto kailangan meron ka rin nito no? Grand Hill of course Grand Hill cards I also have Young Phenoms of the 90s Jerry Stackhouse ayan at the bottom we have Beckett Magazine Slam Magazines various uh, memorabilia of the 90s we also have these magazines these are my personal collection of magazines uh, nothing special but they uh, serve a purpose for me to be able to get that nostalgic comfort whenever I open this kind of uh, items this is a 1996 Dream Team 3 Beckett Tribute this is a Slam Philippines edition of the GOAT, Michael Jordan. One of a kind of magazine or book. And the champs, this is the time that they won 72 games. And a record that was beaten by GSW in 2016. 72-10 record of 
the Chicago Bulls, the entire story, the context, and a uh, lot of uh, very beautiful images of players of the Chicago Bulls, the dynasty Chicago Bulls. This one is my most special magazine, I should say. This is a 1997 Slam, which had the cover of Michael Jordan. Let's take a, a quick review of this magazine. It ha also has a top loader, a vintage top loader. In very good condition. This is a 1997 August edition of USA Slam. It features cover of Michael Jordan. And the article is about the real top 50 players of all time. Right? Look at the condition. Oh my goodness, the smell. It tricks 1990 smell. And look at the top loader. Already yellowed full time. The patina is already evident on that top loader or magazine top loader. Look. Okay. There you go. Let's take a look what's inside. Okay. We have a foam poset. Nike. The back of the cover. We have an Elijah one Spalding advertisement. We have Michael Jordan. So these rakes, 1990s, the smell, the aura, and look at how beautiful it is preserved. Iverson over there. You have Larry Johnson, you have Grant Hill. You have Jerry Stackhouse. He is an endorser of Fila, one of the endorsers of Fila. Tim Duncan. Look at this one. Chauncey Billups in a Colorado uniform or college uniform. Okay, Michael Cooper. The shoes in the 90s, Reebok. You have Steph, Stephen Marbury. You have Jerry Stackhouse. Sam Perkins, Bob Sura, one of uh, a great dunker in the 90s. We have Terry Mills, WNBA, Gary Trent. And now, we have that image of Iverson. So, this is a 1997 August edition, US edition of Slam. We have Alan Houston and John Starks over here. Sorry for the camera. <laughs> and we have a camera camera stand. Quick review Eddie, Eddie Jones. Before Kobe Bryant, it was Eddie Jones for the Los Angeles Lakers. And here is the article top 50 players of all time. You have Chamberlain, you have Urban Magic Johnson, Larry Bird, Karim Abdul Jabbar. You have uh, Dr. J. You have Bob Petit, Moses Malone, Charles Barkley, George Shervin. And this is a special centerfold of Dominic Wilkins when they had a head to head contest, the NBA All Star Dunk Contest. And of course, Michael Jordan. And this is why this special or this magazine is so special because of the entirety of the contents. Even the advertisements are special. It reeks 1990s. The smell, the photos, the images, the articles, the shoes, everything is all about the 90s. The special era of Michael Jordan. 
So we have the up, up and coming stars. There you go. Fifth edition. One more push for an item. Okay, we're almost done with, with the review or quick review of this magazine. One more autumn. Going up to Jabar. So basically that's it. Uh, it also has a Spike Lee, one of the most uh, famous New York fan. Spike Lee and his uh, notoriety. <laughs> so that's all. And look at all the shoes back in the 90s. How beautiful. that and of course at the back we have Kobe Bryant as a back cover of this 1997 August issue or US edition slam in front of us are not so expensive cards but this are quite unique in my opinion so as you can see, they are all in top loaders. So these are actually poster cards of Skybox. Alright. And look what's in store for us. We have an Allen Iverson 1998 poster card. So this is a set of 30 cards. 30 sets or 30 uh, poster cards on that particular set. This is an Allen Iverson. Take a look what's in the second one. Second one is we have Red Knight and Derek Anderson. We have a Jason Kidd poster card. Next, we have here is a Joe Smith, the number one draft pick of 1995. So right now, my goal is for me to be able to complete the set of uh, 30 cards. If you have this kind of cards, kindly hit me up. We have a Kerry Kittles poster card. Bring it up. That's my uh, baby boy. <laughs> Next poster card is a Chris Webber poster card. Same lineup or set. Currently, I have actually nine. Uh, I'm looking for the other one. It's somewhere over here. We have a Michael Finley poster card. And a Rashid Wallace poster card. Another condition. So that's it. If you have this particular card, or card, direct message. I'm looking for the other players on this particular Skybox poster card set. Hook me up. Thank you so much.